Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am messing around in the Mirage 2000 today, and um, I believe I have the Belugas armed at this point, which are like a cluster munition. They remind me of the, uh, what are them called? CBU 97s? So I'm going to pick BF6, which is my Beluga. I'm going to hit. TS comes up right, TAS comes up right away. RS is the radar ranging, I believe. Because I have to turn on radar. And it's still blinking. And uh, come up here and turn on the radar altim altimeter. And now that S isn't blinking anymore. And then also change it from barometric to radar here. And I can come down here now and uh, finish setting these guys up. So these are your fusing, I guess, whatever inert is, RET, and then instant. I tend to like instant. I can change the quantity right here. I think I, I'm going to go 8. I'm going to spread the distance out a little bit. So each one I believe means the next ones they drop is going to be 10 meters from the last one. So let's make that spread out real nice. Let's go about 10. So they should spread out among, uh, in a 10 or a 100 meter uh, line basically. And then lastly, don't forget to hit the master arm switch. Now, I'll go back to my HUD, and I'm going to hit the Special Command Forward, I believe it's called. Let's go here again to Adjust Controls, and it is the Weapon System Command Forward. And that should give me my CCIP solution. There we go. And I'm going to hit Active Pause, and we're off. you got to be above so many feet for that uh, X to go away, too. So I was kind of too low. So I have a variety of targets lined up here. And uh, I'm going to turn off the labels, because nobody likes those. Sit back in my seat a little. Reset my track IR. And there's a line of T-72s up ahead, and I want to spread this out amongst them. I'm dropping too quick. I probably should have went higher. And pickle. Perfect hit. That was a wonderful mess, wasn't it? Absolutely perfect line. So, I like these things as much as the CBU, what, 87 and 97 on the F-16? These are pretty fun. I'm going to gain some altitude again. I'm going to kick in my burners. And I'm going to flip over since I'm lined up perfectly already, so I don't have to wiggle my way back around. Ooh, dropping that airspeed pretty quick. Yeah, we'll pick it back up. Okay. Now our next line of tanks are right on that road right there. These other guys dispersed pretty good. I'm also uh, running this at like 2560 by 1080, so I went for ultra wide instead of super ultra wide in hopes of making it easier for you guys to view the content. 
I think I'm too low again, but what the hell. Drop. Wow. That's a long line. I could actually tighten that up now. Do you see how long that went? So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change that down a couple. We'll go for eight. It's a little more than what I wanted. And I'm sure doing the the flip over the way that I'm doing it probably isn't proper military way to do this, but ask me if I care. This is me having fun in my videos. If you want to know the real way to do this, find somebody who claims to know the proper military way to do it, and it claims to be a military pilot, and then you can listen to what they got to say. I am not in any means calling this a tutorial. This is just, hey man, I figured out how to use the belugas. Here's what I figured out. I'm trying to give somebody that's kind of new to this a decent starting point, I guess you could say. Okay, drop. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Oh, yeah. That was outstanding, wasn't it? Yeah, so the one thing I've learned, too, and uh, the Mirage is finicky. Um, something about the air-to-ground capabilities of the computer or something. Somebody was saying on a Facebook group that uh, you can't have more than one type, or you can't have rockets and bombs mixed together. The rockets won't work, or the bombs won't work. All I know is I couldn't get rockets working. I still can't get Mark 82s working. Uh, the only two I've been able to figure out how to deploy so far are these belugas. I am way too low for this run. Uh, are these belugas and... Drop. Uh, these belugas and rockets are the only ones I've been able to figure out so far. There we go. So what a wonderful mess I've made over here. But yeah, belugas and rockets are the only two I've been able to drop. Um, Mark 82s and Mark 82 snake eyes, just, I don't know, man. Something's not right. I'm not doing something right. I'm missing a step. Uh, I've read the Chuck's guides. I've t looked at some Grim Reaper videos, and it's just not adding up because I can't get them to come off the rails. Let's see. This ought to make a nice mess right there. Boom. Yeah, these belugas are freaking awesome. Absolutely loving the beluga in the Mirage 2000. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And until next time.